Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for um, <clears throat> October 15 to October 21st 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you guys that this is just a, a general reading for Virgo star signs and this is not your personal reading Therefore, I will try the best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my uh, website, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And now as we cut the cards down, let's do the tarot reading first. So four cards spread. The first card is about the topic of your Virgos week. The second card is about the core of the situation. Third card will show us the challenges which are causing predicaments. And the last card here is going to give us a, the guidance the tarot has for you for the duration of the week. So what we do have uh, here as a, uh, a topic, uh, that will be the Four of Wands. So first of all, this week is going to be a good week of development. So you will have a, a positive development either into your career or either into your relationship. Because the Four of uh, Wands, um, the very first thing that it manifests through is a, a finalizing a cycle of development. And that will be an important cycle of development, but this is not exactly um, the culmination of the things, all right? It's just, you know, a milestone. Therefore, usually this comes when you are done with your plans and now it's time to start manifesting them. You are done with your dating, you know, and it's time to bring your relationship into the next level, etc., etc. So throughout, what, what my point here is, guys, is that when we do have the four of wands, you need to know that you have done as best as you can and it, actually the results are quite satisfiable, the very least, regarding your current situation and undertaking. And now it's time for you to start thinking for even greater expand for doing something even more with, um, with your blessing or, or with your possession and with your situation in general. The Four of Wands, it's, um, uh, it's a card which asks you to look very positively on the, um, on the situation itself. Uh, because uh, you have done a great job because the card marks, marks a, a period which uh, are big toils that have placed behind that certain situation or undertaking are now starting to pay off. So uh, let's say that you have, uh, that you had a suitor, you still have it, you know, and you tried everything that you could to kind of enthrall this person. And now as we do have this card, uh, this person is already enthralled and now you have to do something more with it, you know, like date or like, you know, kiss them, or have sex with them, whatever, whatever is the next step into, uh, into your relationship status or whatever is the next step into your career status as well. The thing with the four of wands is that you will have a, a reason to make a celebration <laughs> this week, all right? You will celebrate the reaching of that important milestone. And um, I can suggest you by having this car is to surround yourself with as much friends as you have so you can kind of share your positive attitude and your good fortune with them. The core of the situation or why this is, oh my God. So we do have the Ace of Pentacles here as the core of the situation or why we do have the Four of Wands. And this card is showing that that is a, a milestone, a, a very long term goal or a project or a relationship as well, you know, something that will really benefit you, something that is going to create a, a huge portion of stability and um, security as well in your um, in your environment in general. This car is pointing that the, uh, is showing the potential of that undertaking here. What could become? And it could become a success into your business. It could become a harmony into your relationship. It could become a, a, it, it will be a, a thing of wealth. 
The thing with the uh, Ace of Pentacles is that it depends what we define uh, as wealth. Because wealth is different for every single one of us, you know. Wealth could be, uh, for, for some it could be family, for others it could be love, for third it could be, you know, money, for fourth it could be health as well. The thing is that whatever you are after here, whatever you define as wealth, alright, this week is going to be very productive in that direction so you can do huge things about it and it, I don't think that it is a, a matter of slacking or not because the four of wands is showing that you are not slacking at all but you truly put a, a big effort and toils behind it so the very the very point of that reading is that you Virgos are on the right track and you have to keep on going just because you have reached a certain checkpoint doesn't mean that you have to stop there I mean you can take a few moments you know a couple of days to celebrate your checkpoint but you should keep on doing what you're doing because you are doing it right then the next card is gonna show us the challenges which are causing predicaments here that will be the wheel of fortune so a little bit off topic because the wheel of fortune is showing that there will be a, a, an additional tasks, additional opportunities. It is the more correct term to be used here because you are going to truly see them as opportunities which are going to uh, kind of scatter us or scatter you, Virgos. Because you will want to contribute or rather take a part in every single one of it because you will kind of see benefits from every single one of it. So, um, as... as um, as far as the week is moving on, uh, the more time you will have to devote into this development that you have over here, development, development of relationship or development of career, that is development in the right track, on the right pathway. So what you can do with the Wheel of Fortune uh, is not much unfortunately. Uh, because this is a, a very, uh, it's very influential card. It's basically the big portion of its manifestation. It is not defined by you, but it is defined by the universe. All right, it's kind of like written in the stars or something. And uh, <clears throat> what the card also points is that you may kind of start experiencing a little bit of a a chaotic chaotic current of events through which chaos, um, things will become a little bit more uncertain, um, seemingly uncertain, because in reality it's not going to be that uncertain, at least for uh, this development here, but for the rest it's going to be quite, you know, insecure of how um, they are going to end. I mean, undertakings or responsibilities, uh, opportunities as well. So what my advice is how you should cope with uh, the Wheel of Fortune is uh, entirely neglected, all right? Entirely neglect, no matter how beautiful uh, this opportunity is, that it is aside from the undertaking. And how you will kind of separate both is that this uh, development here, it is ongoing. So you are entering with it in the week. While this opportunity is with the Wheel of Fortune, they are appearing one after another. They are, they are going with or kind of appearing with a very fast flow or very fast current. Therefore, uh, you will have it, you will find it very difficult here, Virgo, to attend into every single one of it. And at a certain point, the time will come where you have to choose which to place in front of other. Uh, and if you do have a, a lot of free time here, uh, that will be totally fine to, to take advantage of uh, some of those opportunities. But no matter what you do, you should not prioritize them in front of that development. I mean, you need to keep up with this um, with this agenda of yours, with this long-term project, long-term possibility for relationship, uh, long-term job as well, instead of kind of sway, um, sw swiping yourself into more short-term um, entertaining, you know, undertakings. 
And the last card that we do have is going to be about the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. We do have the Tree of Swords. So Tree of Swords uh, very strongly contributes with the Wheel of Fortune. So now what we know is that and other people will be involved with those coming opportunities. And these people will want your contribution in your, in your devotion to them. So what we know from these two cards is that these people will have more benefits from those uh, from those seemingly um, so-called opportunities than you. But what they are going to do is to present it like you have the most benefits of it. And if you are not, uh, and if they are not able to do so they will start insulting you and they will start kind of like mocking at you all right so you can also expe expect from the tree of swords here as a guidance that you will have some hostility coming on your way in this week virgo and as a guidance the tree of swords is telling you a couple of things that you cannot do anything about it that is the first thing and also is pointing you that this is going to be the week where you are going to find out who is a true friend of yours and who isn't. Who really wants to see you succeeding and who wants to uh, have benefits on your account or um, on your expense, should I say that way. So pretty much that was the tarot reading for the week for you Virgos. Now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards. They are going to show us a uh, event that you should either look forward to or um, try to avoid. And what we do have here, let me cut them first. Now that is going to be the birds. The birds um, are associated with gossips, they are associated with phone calls and also social media. Then the next one, this is going to be the um, the clouds which are associated with insecurity, uncertainty, uh, vague information as well misleading of one's part. What we said here is the people will, will try to mislead you and that will be, oh my god, that is going to be the bucket which is about bonuses, it's about benefits, it's about a, um, a success if I may say it that way. So we are seeing you here, people phone calling you or giving you information, gossiping you with a, a fallacy of benefits and fallacy of, uh, you know, fast, uh, quick earn of money or quick earn of uh, rewards, right? What we said over here. So you have to be very careful what to believe in. Is, uh, the um, the potential of being uh, misled misled by um, uh, by a fallacious statement is quite huge. And uh, what my suggest um, what my suggestion here towards you, Virgo, is to focus on that development that you have already worked for. And what these cards cumulatively are saying is that there is no easy way to success, but at the end you will have its full pleasure or you are going to experience its full pleasure. Do you know why? Because you alone worked for it and you don't have it um, given to you on a platter. So that being said, uh, guys, uh, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October uh, 15 to October 21st, 2018. And again, that was a, a just a general reading for Virgo star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread but again it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you well that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now, see you next time. Bye!